Welcome to another Unturned video. Today I went on a Kuwait PvP server and we're going to do some PvP, a live raid and getting completely stacked. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more Kuwait videos, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that goal, I will do more Kuwait videos. Subscribe if you haven't, each one helps the channel grow a ton. Let's do the I announce the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today we're going to roll another one which is a frosty feathered hat. To have a chance to win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment whatever you want below. Channel members also have a higher chance to win and if anyone wishes to become a member, the link will be in the description below. But before we get into the video, I would like to shout out today's sponsor. Do you want to make your own unturned server for you and your friends? Then check out Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can make your servers in literally minutes. They have high performance, extremely easy to use, global locations, affordable prices, workshop installer, and if you use the code LDG, you get 30% off. Make sure to use the link in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I am in... Kuwait. I haven't played Kuwait in an extremely long time, but I figured it's time to join back. Perhaps we'll do some raids to do some PvP. I've missed this map to be honest. Now, when I did join, I did get myself a kit, which is a colonizer kit, but there are literally no more kits. There's like a kit generator, all of that, but for now we don't really need them. Server does have a bit of high times loot, which is why we're going to be focusing mostly on PvP. First things first, we need to get a bucket. With a bucket, is literally the most important thing for us when we're starting off, so I'm gonna take as much items, salvage them. Later on, we'll also build a base. I will also want to get myself into the dead zone. It's actually quite easy to get a gas mask on this map. Yes, sir, I should have enough to make myself a bucket. Now, if you guys don't know with this bucket, we're gonna get ourselves a ton of plastic. We still have a long way to go over there. We gotta go to Bergen Oil Fields. Now, there are some people on the server. Obviously, I will try to find as much as possible. Get myself some easy loot that way, perhaps a racks to riches. Well, I hear somebody shoot, and that is uh, quite close. Yeah, he's literally right over there. Now, I'm gonna get closer because since I have a sniper... Yeah, let's get even closer. He has no clue about me, which is perfect. Oh yeah, he's literally right over there. He's dead. Easy. First kill. He has pistol. Okay, I've never seen that pistol before. I don't know if that is actually in Kuwait or if that's a mod. Yeah, when I was loading in, there were a couple of mods. I thought they were just plugins, to be honest, but it seems like there is a gun mod on the server. All right, good to know. All right, so I looted that town, didn't get anything in good, except for a briefcase. I'm gonna start chopping down as much trees as possible so that we can start building a base. This tree actually dropped way too much palm fibers. Jesus, I my inventory is full. I don't think we can stack them on this map, yeah. That's okay. We got ourselves a floor. For now, I'll probably build a two by one. Nothing that insane. But obviously I will not build it down here because down here there's literally no points where I will want to go loot. So we'll just go closer perhaps to the oil fields or maybe there's even an unmarked military location. And I think those areas would be perfect. Alright, so we could build the base somewhere around here. Alright, floors placed. I should have enough to build the whole 2 by one as well. Actually, I don't. I have enough to build a one by one It's okay though, there's literally trees right next to me. Alright, we'll put the doorway right over here, with a roof as well. Now we need to make ourselves a door. Also, some crates. It's very easy to make crates in this map. But yeah, if you guys do want to see more Kuwait videos in the future, let me know. I do have a lot of fun playing this map. Alright, so I made myself a couple of crates. At the same time, I'm going to make myself the two pillars, the doorway, two more walls. And finally, we need the roof. So now we're actually gonna have ourselves a two by one. Lovely. Alright, pillars have been placed. We'll put the doorway right over there. Wall one and wall two. Now we need to make ourselves the roof. Bam. And we are done. All we need now is the door. And we'll place the crates right over here. Alright, let's go. Progress. Now put the pistol over there. We'll put items we don't want to lose in here. And we will go and start with the plastic. Alright. Oh, damn. Okay, well, that spawns way more than I thought. Now, that's kind of OP, actually. I can get myself a lifetime supply of plastic just from this one run. Well, I'm gonna make myself a campfire first, a bonfire. So, basically, we need the plastic to make filters, and with filters, we can make ourselves the gas mask. Then, we'll head over to the dead zone ASAP. But we do need quite a ton of plastic per filter. I think it's like six plastic. When you forge stuff, it's actually quite high times load, but then zombies is much lot less... I'll right, place that right over there. Now with the oil, we'll make it into plastic. And there, our inventory is pretty much clear already. All right, I'll get myself a ton of more crude oil. And pretty much all I'm going to do is until I get a full inventory, is I'm just going to farm as much plastic as possible. We're gonna salvage these as well because we need them. We can stack them into rope as well. Well, I got myself quite a ton of plastic. I'm gonna fill up my vault. There's still way more that I need to do as well. Pretty sure I already have enough to make myself a gas mask, to be honest. Also, a teammate is going to join soon. We're gonna be a duo. I haven't been in a duo in an extremely long time. Usually, I'm solo. But he's gonna help out a bit. Alright, so to make a filtering cloth, metal, and plastic. I should be able to make a 
filter yeah two filters and now i need more cloth damn i didn't expect cloth to be this important all right so briefcase i'm pretty sure it's for a quest also these bricks i can make myself two walls later on if we get ourselves those spectral gems or whatever they're called then we can upgrade that as well all right, well, I'm heading towards military base. This is an unmarked location, but uh, somebody actually looted it. Now, we do need these rock explosives because with two of those, we can make ourselves a charge. Also, my teammate did join. He apparently killed a player and got himself some good items. Now, I'm heading towards military base. At the same time, I'm going to try to get myself some high tier clothes so that we can uh, enter the dead zone. Because with the dead zone, we're going to need some space. Hopefully, from there, we'll also get ourselves a better gun than this colonizer. It's actually a pretty good sniper, but I want something else. Oh, yeah, there's spitzers as well. I forgot. Uh, okay, rucksack and a modded gun. Yeah, there's mods in the server. I have no idea what this gun is, but it looks like a scaler or a crazy from Polaris. Now, if there's mega zombies, that would be actually perfect. Those dropped quite a ton of items. Yeah, get ourselves a vest. Get ourselves full military as well. Picking up everything so we can salvage it so that we can make more filters okay well i just got a raid alert on discord i'm literally getting raided right now my bed is gone uh toast is close and yeah, my base is literally right over there and i think my teammate was spotted i'm gonna get closer though oh yeah he just killed my teammate i don't know if he knows about me but if he checks that thing is in a duo then he's gonna know that i'm still alive yeah he's literally right over there i haven't been on the server for more than 30 minutes and i've already gotten raided yeah i'm gonna take the grenade out of here so maybe i could throw it we get ourselves a grenade kill but i don't think this guy's stupid i think he's actually he turned the... he's getting he's going behind the rock right, he's gonna try to go around me i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna get closer to my base yeah he saw me he's shooting at me i'm gonna push toast is shooting him as well yeah he killed toast i got him Oh, he's actually stacked. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, he has a he has a weapon with a with a pulse magazine that's raiding. I'm gonna put that straight in vault. We'll drop these. Drop that. Vault some other stuff. Filter, steely. All right. I'm gonna go make myself another bed. Oh no, he's there. Bro, he made a bed in my base. I didn't even realize. I'm probably gonna die. Wait, is he gonna push me? What is he doing? Oh, he's. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I died behind the rock. Well. There goes all of our progression. Thankfully, I did vault some items in vault. Yeah, I vaulted a filter. I vaulted a pulse magazine. A steely. That's literally it, but we lost the rest. I should have vaulted more of his higher tier items, man. Especially the Gosmos, for example. Yeah, he's the only villain on the server. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna give up. We'll give it another try. This time we'll build a bit differently. We're just gonna have to restart everything. Alright, new base. We're gonna build it close to the main city of Kuwait. Two by one as well. This time Toast is helping me chopping down trees. He's also gonna help me grind when it comes to metal and cloth. Then we at the same time also try to get ourselves some better clothes so that we can go to the dead zone. That's literally all the plan that there is. And then after we will attempt to raid. Alright, so the base was actually decaying. I hear shots. But we needed a generator in order to keep it up. That's literally it. Yeah, base is done. We just need a door. We hear shots. I think Toast is gonna go try to kill him. Alright, so I made myself a palm locker. They obviously have more storage. We're also gonna make base bigger than last time. Not a 2x1. We're gonna make it a 2x2 two two at least. Perhaps even bigger. I will let my teammate do the whole build base building thing. While I will go and get load PvP. Alright, so we got a car. We're heading back to that military unmarked location. Hopefully get ourselves some good items from there actually. The yeah, server's starting to fill up with more players now. Yeah, this is exactly where I want to be. There is a... Wait, there's a mega zombie and he's moving. I mean, that means that somebody is here or he just killed somebody. I mean, I should be able to kill it with the colonizer. Yeah, I think he actually did kill somebody. There is a loot pile. Alright, let's just shooting him down. Oh, no, there's a guy. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> well, that was easy. Bro, okay, I saw that he had some good items, actually. Alright, let's pick up his load. Oh, the way that I killed him was kind of cool, though. Bro, he's running away from me. Come back here, bro. We'll put the dead soil nature in vaults. We'll wear the vest, some ammo. Bro, he's actually strong. We put so much shots into him. Alright, let's reload. Oh, I got him. Easy. Alright, anything go. We got ourselves a backpack. Uh, two charges. Oh my god. Well, that was unexpected. And we just got the detonator as well. From the first dude that I killed. Alright, that was unexpected. Alright, let's reload. Let's check out this dude. Oh, it's all gone. Alright, yeah, my teammate looted them. I just wanted to see what was in it, but it's alright. Got ourselves two more explosives. Perfect. Alright, well, I got my clothes that I wanted. So, perhaps I'm gonna give Toast the load so that he can go home, store it there. And I will go for a dead zone run. There's so many GPSs there. A bunch of attachments here grenade i don't really think grenades are that important on Kauai, to be honest oh, wait there's a guy oh wait there's another guy bro it's a duo oh, i'm gonna die i'm solo as well right now my teammate is in base bro, i'm gonna try to get myself a better location oh, he's right there 
Body shot. Bro, I missed. Alright, my teammates here. Yeah, they're doing this behind that tree. Alright, let's refill our magazine. I'm still with this colonizer, man. Alright, alright. Hit him. I don't know where the other dude is. I think he's hiding somewhere. Bro, he's in a car. Got him. Alright, let's go. Alright, since he's dead, I'm gonna push for this dude. Take his loot. Send dude, I actually have no idea where he is. Is he hot? Did, did he leave? Okay, alright, he's stacked. He has three steelies, a gas mask on him, and uh, a modded gun. Alright, we'll put those in vault. Especially the second gas mask. Okay, good. My teammate can come with me in the dead zone, actually. Alright, I actually think that the second dude ran away. It's kind of funny. I really should take the car and get out of here. Next stop is dead zone. It's a full moon, so it might be a bit scary. But perhaps we get even more loot. We're gonna try to get a blowtorch from here. Oh, blowtorch. Let's go. Mission accomplished. All right, we're here. There's a boat as well, which is perfect. All right, let's wear the gas mask. Got myself two extra filters. I'm gonna give a filter. And since there's a boat, we can actually yoink this and go with it. Lovely thing about boats on Kuwait is that you cannot lock them. So anybody can use them. They're always here. They're always by the dead zone shores. It's also gonna become a storm, which is just kind of bad. Because then we can't see anything. Now, obviously, since we're here, we're gonna aim to get ourselves the galvanizer. I'm gonna try to kill as much zombies as possible so that we get ourselves spectral clothes. We just need the armor plates, batteries, and the spectral clothes cloth or whatever it's called obviously we're gonna try to get as much pulse magazines as well as well as the 100 ammo crates because with those we can actually do some some decent trades but if we get ourselves a galvanizer on the first try i'm going to be extremely happy but i can't tell if we've reached the shore or not no we haven't yeah i see yeah i see the land all right we've made it all right since we are here i'll probably use the gun that i've gotten from this dude the pulse magazine because pulse is one shot for these zombies all right let's kill him He's dead. Anything good? Oh, galvanizer ammo. You're gonna get a ton of those. Pulse magazine. We'll take the modules and the batteries. Alright, second zombie dead. Yeah, with high times loot, we're gonna get everything, to be honest. Then I will want to do either a really, really big raid or a live raid. Yeah, these pulse magazines are so OP, man. This dude dropped. Pulse magazine, armor plate. Wait, is that a Dune Slayer? Alright, this dude. Spectral cloth. More spectral cloth. More galvanizer ammo. Lovely. Yeah, we could fill up our vaults as well if we want to. So we get even more items from here. Yeah, the Dune Slayer is locked, by the way. Yeah, let's fill up our vault. That way, if we die, we will still get some items from here. For spectral clothes, we need more spectral cloth. Yeah, hopefully I'm going the correct way for the galvanizer. Because I can't see anything, man. Alright, these dudes. More galvanizer ammo. Yeah, my inventory is literally full. I will drop these. I don't need them. Let's take some batteries. I'm actually gonna make myself the spectral shirt. Obviously, it gives us more storage. Now, in order to make the pants, we still need more items. Pulse magazine, another one. Now, I'm pretty sure also there's going to be base health. So, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Alright, this filter is almost out. Oh, yeah, we're going in the area where the galvanizer spawns. Good. Yeah, right, there's a bunch of zombies here. Ouch. That hurt me. Oh, yeah, there's so much cloth here. Good. Oh, there's a zombie, bro. I'm gonna die. Never mind. Easy. All right, let's drop that. We can make the pants now. All right, spectral pants. We can also make the helmet, but for now, pants better because more storage. All right, so Toast, I think he went to go and see if the galvanizer spawned. I don't think it did, though. Perhaps I can home and depot and then... Wait, what? Wait, what is that? Wait, that's a minigun. Well, it's a modded minigun, that's for sure. It's not from Kuwait. But I don't know if it's raids or not, if it takes galvanizer... No, it doesn't take galvanizer ammo. All right, well, we'll test if it trades later on, but... For now, we'll put it in vault. All right, there's still another dome we have to check for galvanizer. Hopefully, that one will actually have it. All right, so we are done from this dead zone run. We did not get a galvanizer. We got another one of those mini guns, so we did strip it. That's pretty much all we did. Toast is also here. I'm quite satisfied with the amount of loot that we've gotten. All right, so we got the blowtorch. I think he's gonna make lockers with that. Like the big boy lockers. I made him a spectral pants if he wants to use that. That's for him. Yeah, perhaps we will also start upgrading base a bit. Next dead zone run that we do, I'm gonna try to get myself as much of those spectral rocks as possible. Yeah, Toast did upgrade base. He made it a bit honeycomb, which is lovely. Now, with all of these electrical fences, I will put them all around base. Hopefully, we don't run into them 10 billion times. And we actually picked up quite a few, man. Oh, I hear shots. Also, Toast is going to leave very, very soon. So, we're gonna be a solo from that point onwards, which is all good. Oh, okay, yeah, he made a bit... Oh, damn, that's actually a really big locker. Yeah, I'll put everything in there then. Especially the gas mask. All right, beautiful. For now, we'll run around with the sniper again. I'm not sure if I should run around with the spectral clothes, though. Yeah, he made another one of those big lockers. Okay, currently I am solo, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the lower part of the map, and I'm going to try to find some base raids. I don't want to find anything big for now, I want to find something small so that we don't start off with the biggest raid that we could possibly find. But perhaps like a 2 by 2 wood would be perfect for now. Uh, and I actually did find myself something to raid. I'm quite prepared. 
shouldn't take me this much as much ammo as possible since it's all made out of palm yeah first magazine is out i don't want to get too closer i'll get splash damage second magazine is out yeah there's definitely base health oh we're through okay well it looks like there's a couple of crates a uh, bunch of junk in here well, let's vault this especially the capacitor crates nothing in there clothes metal a gun a chainsaw i will take the chainsaw bunch of metal back of bricks blowtorch what is that it's a modded gun all right well this raid isn't let's check out what these have nothing yeah okay well there's a valentine i will take that it's going to be my primary pvp weapon it took all of his potatoes there is one claimed bed yeah this raid was definitely not worth it i will take everything though i will salvage them since on this map everything is important to get salvaged especially metal and cloth but i'm not too happy with this raid unfortunately well, I see a guy hopping around here. I have no idea what he is doing, man. I'm just gonna go close. I'm gonna spray him down. Hello. He's dead. Easy. Anything. Oh, yeah. Valentine. Bunch of ammo for a blowtorch. No, I'm gonna think shot at. I have no idea from where. Yeah, I actually have no clue where he is. Alright, maybe I'm gonna try to escape. Actually, I don't wanna die. Alright, let's reload. And I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, what is going to happen next is basically there was a duo that were attempting to live raid a base. And they were failing. So what I thought is if I could TP to them, help them out with their little raid, I would be able to get myself some nice profit from it. I wasn't really too trustworthy, so I didn't take some items with me, especially, as you may see right now, the backpack and the spectral clothes. But basically, this is what happened. Alright, so I did TP to them and he actually did not kill me, which is quite surprising. Now one of the guys from this duo is actually the same guy that raided my base when I had my first little base next to the oil fields. Yeah, there's a sentry as well. He's going back. I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna waste any raiding gear first. This base is full spectral as well and they have a heli on top. And they're saying that it's live. So it could go horribly wrong. Alright, I think he's trying to shoot the sentry down. Yeah, this is the guy that raided my base. Uh, I think we're putting our previous PvP to the side so we could raid his base. Or probably he forgot about me. I mean, he did kill my teammates twice and my teammates not on anymore. So maybe at the end I will actually kill him. It would be kind of funny if I would kill everybody at the end. But I will not do that because that's very, very... <laughs> oh yeah, there's the sentry right over there. Maybe I could try to shoot it down with the pulse from all the way over here. Let's see if the scope actually works. No. Great. It's alright. I will be able to shoot it down anyway. Wait, I think the owner of the base just shot at me. I have no idea from where. Uh, I think I broke the sentry, by the way. Now, they say that they have charges. I do have two as well. Yeah, I broke the sentry. But it took two bullets to break down a sentry. Unless it was already damaged. Okay, he's placing charges. For Spectral, I think it takes like eight charges. And if there's base health, it's gonna take way more. Yeah, it didn't break. Hopefully he has more. I'm scared I'm gonna get backstabbed at the end, to be honest. So once I get, start getting myself some loot, I will vault it. Yeah, it still didn't break, man. Bro, he's putting rockets into it. That thing is strong. Alright, let me go over there. I think he ran out of raiding gear. Maybe I should use pulse magazines. Maybe I should put the charges. Alright, I'm gonna use pulse. Oh yeah, it broke. Oh yeah, blowtorch. Oh, he's right there. Oh, bro. Alright, well, I'm gonna wear these clothes. Wait, that's a flamethrower. Bro, there's flamethrowers in this map. I'm gonna put charges in there. The bed is back there. So if we kill him, then that would be good. Alright, insane base raid, ladies and gentlemen. I broke. Oh, he's not even. In oh. Oh, I killed him. Oh, he's dead. Okay, well, I killed him. I destroyed the bed. Hopefully, the other dude will accept my TP. All right, yeah, we're going back. He accepted. Let's go. Let's pick up our loot. Full spec ops. Yeah, he didn't even touch my loot. Okay. All right, well, till now, he's a trustworthy lad. Bro, I don't understand how there's a flamethrower <laughs> on Kuwait. Well, we also broke down there. Right, there's a bunch of lockers here, so we should definitely break those. Especially the big ones. Yeah, I don't think Flamethrower does any rate damage, my guy. Alright, let's start. It's gonna take us a while, but hopefully we will get there. Bro, it's taking so much. Oh, finally. Bro, what is this money? We got money and grenades and jerry cans. Alright, well, I am kind of disappointed with that one. It took me so long. Oh, watch out, bro. I don't want to accidentally kill you. I'll heal you. Oh, it's kind of incredible that me and Tom are friends now. Even though he raided me earlier. This one broke. Oh, capacitor crates. I mean, obviously, I will try to get as much loot as possible from this raid. Since I'm using my raiding gear. Oh, I broke something. Alright, nether magazine is out. I mean, with these 200 shots that we just got in, that's really, really nice. And hopefully these are all damaged now with splash damage from all the other bullets. Another magazine. We're using so much, it's actually incredible how much we're using. 
Oh, bro. Yo, spectral stones. Oh, I'll take these gladly. We got ourselves an echo as well. Oh, beautiful. We'll upgrade these with base. Yo, I'm going to vote some of them. And the echo as well. It's raiding sniper on this map. I'm gonna put some of those in there. We'll drop those. Bam. All right, so that way if we get backstabbed, we will get ourselves still some items. Even though we would lose a ton. All right, let's raid these lockers now. There's a bunch... All right, that one broke. And a bunch of ammo. There's a there's a good gun as well. But he took it. We'll take these ammos. I don't I don't know what those were for, to be honest. If only I still had the charge on me, man. We would be able to raid these so quickly. I'm gonna run out of ammo soon. There's so many me. There's so much money. Wait, I hear people swimming. Bro, there's a guy. Oh, he killed him. Nice. That's a mirage that raids. Let's go. All right, well, let's switch this. And we will raid with the sniper now. Plus, I'm pretty sure there were some magazines for this. Oh, this one broke. Oh, wait. Mirage magazines. <laughs> Perfect. Dude, it couldn't have been even better. This dude literally just delivered this weapon for us. If only we had a galvanizer, man. We would shred this so quickly. All right, perhaps I can actually home very soon as well in Depot. I'm really happy with the amount of loot that we've gotten. Oh, this broke. Oh, pulse magazines. Lovely. We'll take that. Oh, it broke. Let's go. Bunch of more junk. There's a bunch of guns, man. There's so many drums, though. But I have literally no space. I don't know what to drop. Let's take that. I don't even know what the drums are used for in this map, to be honest. Oh, that one broke. Yo, it's stacked with grenades and missiles. Oh my god, detonators. Beautiful. Alright, we are done from that trade. I did leave. I was stacked and I was scared I was gonna get betrayed. They weren't really giving me any reason why they would betray me, to be honest. They seemed pretty chill especially one of them did go afk during the whole raid but i'm happy that we've gotten this loot my vault is also stacked with items it was quite fun to do an online raid especially when he had a flamethrower on kuwait very odd and i think he actually died as soon as i homed i think they died i think the owners of the base returned but me personally it doesn't affect me since i got out of there safe and sound i've also started making all of these brick buildables that i have randomly around the base spectral absolutely amazing i mean i don't have that much of it is just made out of wood but later on i will get as much bricks as possible so that just the perimeter will be full spectral now somewhere around here is my spectral top as well and perhaps we're gonna go for another dead zone run and hope for a galvanizer all right so i just made myself a ton of more palm lockers all i did was literally just farming for them now if we get if we stand too close to that electrical fence outside just from inside the base we almost could die so covering it up with these is actually not a bad idea on the other side, we'll just put the normal palm crates. Yeah, I should have two more. And there we go. Well, this dude just killed that guy that was building outside. Bro, stop moving around. He's dead. Yeah, there was a man literally building a base here. This guy just pulled up to him, killed him. Uh, he... Okay, well, he had galvanizer ammo somehow. Uh, I mean, I will take that. Blowtorch. Yeah, the coyote pack. A vest. This dude doesn't have anything. He was building a base. He only has the colonizer kit. Now, I'm gonna tell him to TPA back so that he could continue building his base. I don't know. I'm feeling generous today. All right, he actually did TPA. Imagine he tries to kill me. No, I doubt that. Yes, sir. Why, hello there. All right, yeah, I'm gonna leave him there. Yeah, he's thankful. Respect. Absolute legend. Well, we are back in the dead zone hoping for a galvanizer. Capacitor crate. Pulse magazines. Absolutely beautiful. I'll take some of the galvanizer ammo too, just in case we get one. Even though in base we have so much already. Now, the first one didn't have. I already checked the first dome. If this one has, I'll be very happy. Uh, never mind. Pulse magazine. Well, time to go back to base. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this short movie. I really hope that you did enjoy. If you guys do want more videos like these, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys did make it till the end, I really, really appreciate it. Especially since this video is uh, it's quite long. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.